You know, some of you really need to grasp hold of the fact that staying with the narcissist, remaining in, uh, remaining connected to them, right? Refusing to go no contact when you really have no reason to really be in contact with them is the same thing as committing destiny unaliving. Listen, narcissists come in to complete the works of darkness, right? Because the enemy himself cannot do anything to you except he do it through a body. This is where they come into the picture. You've got to understand that, listen, the enemy plays for keeps and he may be, he may be pursuing you through the narcissist, but it's your bloodline that the enemy is ultimately after. Listen, you got to understand that you owe the narcissist nothing. You are allowed. You don't need their permission to heal. You don't need their approval to live your best life after narcissistic abuse. You don't need them. One of the, one of the traps that the narcissist uses that really gets people stuck and stagnant and tied down at these demonic altars is by believing you really need them in your life when all they are doing is delaying you. And this is where we see the spirit of delay being enforced in the life of the believer because they want to stay bound to that that which is from the opposing kingdom. Listen, you owe the narcissist nothing, but you owe yourself everything. You've got to make up in your mind that enough is enough. I refuse to stay connected to this entity that is trying to destroy me. I refuse to stay connected to this entity that is pursuing my bloodline. I refuse to stay connected to this entity that is out here trying to destroy me and totally annihilate me. You got to understand that you are totally up to you and you don't owe the narcissist anything. You don't owe them your time. You don't owe them an explanation. When it's time to go, baby, it's time to go. God bless you.